Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to RimWorld Alpha 14, where RimWorld has apparently decided that we should simply die. We have simultaneously a psychic ship, a um, pirate raid, a manhunter pack, but not just any manhunter pack, a boomalome, boomalope manhunter pack. We also have toxic fallout and a heat wave, it's all going on simultaneously. I have, literally have no idea how we could possibly deal with this at all. What we're going to do is we're going to recruit everyone, uh, except for Arbez. Uh, Shigeko needs a weapon, so I'm going to give you that. And I think Zany Norwegian needs one as well. I'm going to give you, I don't know, the Molotov Cocktail. Do that, then I'm going to select everyone else. Do, do, do. And get them in a position where they can shoot the boom lobes as they funnel through here. We haven't finished our doors yet. I don't want to let them near the power conduits. Ideally, the pirates would fight the boom lobes. That would be really nice. Uh, keep shooting this thing so it explodes before we get over there. Okay. Alright, there we go. Hopefully these guys fight. Yes! Because the Manhunter packs should attack the pirates. Which actually should cause the pirates to start running relatively soon. Come on, run away. Run away. There you go. Uh, we've got... Some of them are on fire. I don't think we can do anything about that. S recruit, unrecruit. Put out the fires. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go and, um... Nikki's gone berserk because she's hungry. And she's in the middle of a bunch of other people, including some fire. I don't know, it just blew up there. That's not a good sign. Do we just go and beat her up? And try to end this? She's wandering far enough away, it might not be a problem. Let's get all the fires out first. Uh, getting these doors up and running would be very nice. We're not restricted right now, right? Um, Alright, you guys have some fallout, but uh, don't get too close to Nikki. Run away. What we really need to do is haul that away. There we go, so now the door seals. You're not actually dead. You're burnt all over. I think we're going to capture Nina. So I'm going to make this a prisoner room. There we go. Okay. Power. So if that got turned on, these guns should be working. We've got intact power all the way here. Back to the geothermal. That's good. Nikki Quartz. What are we going to do about you, Nikki? I think we have to go beat you up. to end the rage a little sooner. Well, that's a really awkward placement, but... Melee. 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 Go. Don't do any permanent injuries. She's our main character. Toxic buildup's gotten to minor. Minor's fine. If it hits moderate, they can develop dementia. We do not want that to happen. Okay, she's down. Good. Do that. Okay, someone's rescuing her already. We got some more guns, which is nice. Zany Norwegian. Um, yeah, I don't know if we can set this on fire, and there's no grass around to set. Equip that. What's forbidden over here? There it is. We'll get you indoors. Let's um let's restrict everyone indoors for a little bit. Try to hopefully get them a little bit of rest, get everyone treated a little bit. Nina, are you recruitable? Oh, you're very recruitable. You don't have any missing body parts. You're very neurotic. Yeah, we can probably deal with that, I don't know. So we will try to recruit you at some point. Really? Outside? Oh. I forgot to restrict you, but it should be okay. Who's in poor mood? Nikki. Well, yeah. If you were awake, you'd have some beauty here. Cooler broke down. That's wonderful. You're starving. Hopefully someone can get you some stuff. It is... I mean, we've got people doctoring. Yeah, you're busy, I guess, is the problem. 
tending. Tending is one thing. We need someone to bring you food. Okay, the heat wave is over. That's good, especially with the broken down cooler. I don't suppose you can repair that? No? Really? Yes, you can. How come the right click doesn't work there? That seems odd. Deadmate is fully healed. We don't have any medicine for her anyway. Be nice to use and make a duster. Yeah, that's okay. But do we just get out there? Someone still needs to bring her food. Nina is infected. Well, Kravik has to finish treating Nikki first before anyone can feed Nikki. And the problem with the the hand-to-hand -hand combat is you end up with a lot of injuries. They're minor, but there's a lot of them. Nikki's starving. Here, prioritize feeding her. Don't worry about the bruises. There you go. You're even holding on to food. Wonderful. Okay, and then you're going to finish that off. Much, much better. So Nikki's still in a shit mood. But it's actually not as bad as it could be. Cute pain, psychodrone, hideous environment. Really? What's so hideous about it? There's a little bit of dirt. That's not a hideous environment. You're just remembering that from when you were um, awake. Because the actual beauty's over here, so that's fine. All right, we've got to go and take out that psychic ship. Um, I'm going to unrecruit you and you. And Kravak, you just have been bruises or some shit, right? All right, we're going to have to just go. It's just the way it's going to have to be. I'm really sorry. This is not optimal at all. But we just have to go. Guns are turned on. Doors are, op are uh, um, up. Not all of them, but some of them. Are we in range? No. Oh, that's a shotgun, so that's a bit of a bad example. Obviously, and that's a sniper, so you're obviously in range. You're not, so we will have to get closer with more people. I'm going to try to bring everyone in for, like, max accuracy. This is going to get a lot of people killed. But hey, as long as Nikki survives, and Arbez, it'd be nice to keep Deadmate around too, but... Can't always get what you want. Start firing. I'm actually going to move Master Oink to there, and then get him to start firing. We need to bring this down to 500%, which ain't going to happen. And these guys are all using miniguns, um, which is really bad because they're they're going to just do damage to absolutely everyone simultaneously. I'm going to dead mate back there because actually with the sniper rifle, we will have better luck. Keep shooting the ship. Oh, that's really bad. I guess I could have just sniper ruined the thing from the start. Actually... Yeah, let me unrecruit everyone. And you will be told to rescue. No, I know you're on run mode. I want you to go into ignore mode. And rescue Zany Norwegian. Or not then, just run, that's okay. That's fine too. Dead mate, run further away. You still got hit. Are we not out of range there? Really? Shit. Okay. Then run to here. I told you, run. Yeah, they're gonna chase you. <laughs> Not what we're looking for there, but... Run. Run, 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 run. They keep chasing you, that wouldn't be too bad. Because actually, if we can pull them away from this. Who's it? And we've got another trauma savant! Kravik has taken another brain injury. Yay, and then we've got an infection. Um. this, you'll probably turn around in a minute. Because this will take forever to kill one of these things as is. This is not going to work out. The problem is, you know what? Congratulations everyone, we're doing a suicide run. You guys have to bring this down to 500. 
We need one survivor. Everyone else is going to sacrifice their lives. The only thing that matters is that we have at least one survivor to maintain the base. And that's Nikki. She's the lone survivor. That's the theme of this. We have to bring this down to 500 hit points. And then if we do that, then these guys will attack the base and die to our actual guns. Still the goddamn toxic fallout. Most of these people are going to become um, ill with uh, with dementia. We'll just, I don't know, put them down and deal with it. Okay. Dead mate. We're at the crash ship. Go, go, go. Multiple headshots. Excellent. Everyone. Everyone's firing here. Not particularly accurately. Master Oink, you've got your PDW and you're because you're really inaccurate. You're gonna get a little closer and go. It's at 58%. Everyone's just sacrificing themselves. It's fine. 56. 50%. There we go. It's in the red. Run. Run. I'm gonna get dead made to take one more shot. And just make sure it goes down. Or not. You know. Starvation. Dead mate is starving. Alright. Just run. No. This way, this way, this way, you stupid... Um, oh no, we don't have another door over there. Well, the long way around. Okay, there we go. Now you can just go that way. Are these guys not chasing? Is it because it's exactly at 50%? They should be going after my base right now. Ah, oh, come on. And you passed out over there? Really? They're not coming after the base. They're supposed to at 50%. There it is, 48%. Total suicide run mode is what we're doing here. Alright. Go back to running away. Nikki Quartz is back up. Toxic build that initial. Consuming some nutrient paste. Hey, there's not gonna need we're not gonna need a whole lot of food soon here. Are you did you change the game logic? No, no, they're coming. Finally. Fucking hell. I'm like, tell me. They didn't change the rules on how the crash ships operate. Oh, uh, Zany Norwegian died because of the toxic buildup. So our moods are going to be just shit for a while. Rexar has an infection. Yeah, well, he's out there, so... We still have toxic fallout. Like, I can't believe. Boomalope. There we go. Go through the traps. Die, 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 die. Die. Die some more. You didn't die on the traps, but you should die pretty easily here. And miniguns are super inaccurate, which is great. Very unlikely this guy will be able to blow up any of my dudes, although he's tanking this pretty well. I was really hoping he would die through this line of traps. There we go. Well, he's not, he's not even dead technically, but close enough. Nikki, how's your buildup? Just on initial level. Great. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to everyone. Nikki, you're going to see if you can't go and do some rescuing. Um... Rexar is probably going to die. Uh, we have to make sure... To wait, actually, a little longer. we got to make sure this guy's engaged the guns. He doesn't go after us. Okay, there. Rescue Kravik. There we go. They're all done. And then we can make sure to... Add a build to shut down... We got a dry thunderstorm, so it's going to be fire. Deadmate's got an infection. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do we have a doctor that's up? Deadmate is the only one. Arbez! No. Nikki, you're going to try doctoring. Actually, everyone's going to attempt doctoring. Even though it's obviously kind of crap. Speaking of Nikki, where are you? Bringing home a body. It's not a body yet, but it will be soon. I'm going to flag this as a medical bed. Um, 
dead mate. I assume, or Arbez, I assume you can't rescue anyone. No. You're actually okay, Shing. You're gonna go and rescue Master Oink. Rexar has died. Kravex got infections. We have no medicine either. God damn, this is just tragic. I can't believe the toxic fallout's still going on. I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long. Well, that's not true. It was the 11th of spring. So we've gone like a third of a month now with the toxic fallout. I guess that's not completely unreasonable. Master Oink has died because of blood loss. You're gonna feed a meal. You're grabbing that meal to feed someone. That's an interesting choice, but okay. All right, shut down. And the other one is dead. Good. We're gonna need to make sure that everyone's got some enforced joy time. Twice a day. Make sure they stay maxed on health because they're need they're gonna need to offset a lot of unhappiness here. I can't if I hope Deadmate doesn't die, because they're still married. I want to see Deadmate's joy when Arbez is brought back to half competence. Who's starving? Kravik is starving. Well, someone should bring him food. Um, everyone is set to do medical work. Well, not Arbez. Uh, this actually, I really should get the other mod because Arbez could feed food to people. Could you prioritize feeding Kravik? Thank you. No more starvation. No medicine. Still toxic fallout. And plants are... Yeah, I think they are dying. <sighs> oh my god. Uh, I guess we could save power by toggling that. Arbez can at least flick switches. This is one purpose in life. He flicks well. I could put him on research duty, so I, I don't even know. I don't even want to look at, like, who we've got and what's going to be the situation. Nikki Quartz, I can't believe you're still... You're you're tanking this shit. You have not taken any real injuries. Left thumb, thumb torn off, which does severely impact um, mobility, but that's it. God damn it. Pirate attack, psychic ship, manhunter pack of boomalopes, heat wave, toxic fallout, simultaneously, and I think we have survived it. Now... There's still, I suspect there will be more fatalities by the time this particular disaster is over. There will be more. But the important thing is that Nikki Quartz does not die. That is the foundation of our base. Literally. She, she founded the base. She's the lone survivor for Fallout. And I mean, with the toxic Fallout going on, it's very thematic right now. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Auto rearm is toggled on properly for all these things. Minigun can be unforbidden. That minigun, too. We'll grab it at some point. The infection with no medicine. I really want Deadmate. Deadmate is super, super useful. Actually, but the fibrous mechanites is particularly good. Still bleeding, actually. Definite injury is being treated here. We don't have medical beds yet, which isn't helping. Bleeding rate is 11% per day. Blood loss is just minor at this time, so I don't think you'll bleed to death. But the, the real threat is going to be infection to just about everyone. Kravak, major, and only 24% immunity. And that's in the head. Kravak is almost 100% guaranteed to die from infection. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. It sucks. Kravak was useful. Kravak could haul. Therefore, Kravak was useful. But I think that's going to be it. Oh, I, I never renamed um, Chinginko whatever over here. So let's name you as Lord Noob. Okay. <sighs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. What stress. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I should cancel all these before anyone wastes any time doing work that is pointless. <sighs> Kravik's no longer incapable of walking. He is a surgeon, actually. He might... It's nice, actually, to get a proper surgeon back up and running. But the problem is, 
He's still gonna need red rest, and the problem is he's still wickedly infected. And he is gonna die from his infection. I mean, he's got multiple major infections with no real immunity progress. And his treatments, I mean, I don't know, we're gonna just put like a cold towel on his forehead. That's gonna be the extent of the treatment that we can supply to Kravak here. Because we have no medicine. Not even herbals. I feed Nina, who's about to break. She has developed immunity. Well, extreme infection. But she's got her immunity, which is really good. She is very useful. If we can convince her to join the party. Wardening with Deadmate. Yeah, Nikki's not as good as doing it. If Deadmate, how are you doing, Deadmate? You've got two major infections. Oh, God, Deadmate, don't die. You're viewing art. Parati is chatting with her. It'd be great if we can get her to, can, like, to join us. Assuming she doesn't die. And I don't think she will. I don't think Nina's going to die. She's a lot easier to recruit. Wow, that is a low failure chance. But she's kind of miserable right now. So I suspect that's a big part of it. I mean, we've got Nor Lord Noob. Other than Toxic Fallout. My husband, Zany Norby. Wait. Wait, what? So the one... So Lord Noob, who came in being followed by the pirates, right? Was already married to Zany Norwegian? Huh. Oh, also, everyone should be restricted indoors at this point. I don't think they're going to be doing a lot of wandering outside. But yeah. Come on, Kravak. It's not extreme infection yet, but your immunity's not really going up. Your immunity recovery rate's not really going to improve very much. prevent infections, but it doesn't really do much once you've got them, I don't think. <sighs> temperature in here is 21 degrees, which is nice. Bedroom's slightly warmer, but it's going to keep the temperature in here from being non-fatal, hopefully if there's another heat wave. I mean, the temperature will still rise, but probably not that much. This is all indoors. Indeed, it is correctly indoors. That counts as outdoors, which seems a little odd to me, but I don't know. Um, oh, God. So yeah, the roofing situation is fine. Um, that's the no roof area. And then if we want to look at the build roof area, I mean, I shouldn't have to specify anything. But I just want to make sure that this is roofed in while we still have the toxic fallout. Who's going around setting fires? Lord Noob is on a fire starting spree. It's over here. It's not too bad. Oh, the air conditioners aren't running. That's right. You're going to set fire to a battery. Kind of annoying. Um, I'm going to have to wake up Nikki. So she can do some firefighting before it spreads too badly. And gets too hot in here. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! No! 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 Why? Why? You guys are both going to burn to death in here. Okay, I got to put a cut in here and figure out how to deal with this bullshit. Holy fuck bag. This is really, really bad. I could get someone to rush in here and deconstruct this. Let it vent. Because it's just going to be too hot and everyone's going to die from heat exhaustion. Um, but who can be up and about? Deadmate. Outside a loud area. Right. Um, let's unrestrict everyone for a second here. Oh my god. No, I'm going to have to put a cut in here and then figure out how to deal with this. These two are fighting in a room that's on fire. They're just going to die from heat exhaustion. What, Nikki, of all the goddamn times to decide to start a fist fight, why then? <sighs> Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.